is one way the state is trying to help the cash strap T. Yeah, the I team's uncovered another way the T's losing money. Lauren Lemanchek found many passengers are getting free rides. Day in and day out. The destination of this train is North Station. These Green Line trolleys are packed with commuters and students. And day after day, the I-team watched as they got on without being required to pay. There have been a few times where I've just walked on. If a train is packed and, you know, you just show them the card and they're like, all right, fine. We decided to ride the C-Line to see if anyone asked us for our Charlie cards. I started the day with a $10 balance. Next stop, Street. And rode the train on a weekday morning. Off and on several times, along with other commuters, I didn't have to pay. Finally, on the last trip, when the train was emptier, a conductor waved and asked to scan my Charlie card. It's an incredible problem, and again, not only is it a problem financially, but it's a problem symbolically. Right now, lawmakers are trying to decide how to fund and fix the T, a task that will require millions more in taxpayer subsidies. And Senator Bruce Tarr says taxpayers need to know everyone is paying their way. It's hard to say to the public, and we've heard this repeatedly over the last several years, we need more funding, we need more revenue. And then someone gets on the train and see if sees fares not being collected. They see video of people getting on and no one checking their fare. What do you say to them? We think, you know, based on our fare revenues uh, continuing to climb, we do believe the vast majority of our customers are paying their fare. Frank DiPaolo says more than half of all customers have prepaid monthly passes. The IT met up with him at the reservoir stop. Thank you. <laughs> During what the T calls a fare collection blitz. On this day, staff scanned Charlie cards before riders got to the platform. Thank you. Most did have money on the cards. Thank you. Others were told to go to the booth and add more. But most days, this doesn't happen. Customers get on, like we did, with no one collecting. If we had to do this at all stations, we really couldn't afford to have the staffing. DePaulo says the cost of more staff or the inconvenience during a busy rush hour makes it impractical to crack down more. Especially on the surface stations, when we during rush hour, when we open all doors, we're sort of relying on the honesty of our customers. There's no way of knowing just how honest customers are. Fair revenue this year is up almost $23 million more than last year. And transit police sometimes go undercover to write tickets for fare evasion. For the I-Team, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News. If there's a story you think the I-Team should check out, give us a call at 617-779-TIPS or send an email to iTeam at cbsboston.com.